Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Whatever Wednesday. But there's been, there's a change of plans because I, as cool as it is and as interesting as it is to just kind of do stuff in it, I've um, ran out of steam for dehydrineer stuff. So we're going to, at least for now, put it away and let it kind of just exist. And we're going to go straight into to doing more Valheim. Because I did, I was saying that Valheim was going to take over that spot eventually, but I just feel like doing it now because I want to have fun. <laughs> you know, not that I wasn't having fun with Hydraineer, but I have a lot more fun with Valheim. I'll just say that. Um, so yeah, we're going to be starting. Well, we're, we're, this would be stream two of Valheim, but we're going to be starting playing Valheim on the channel in earnest. So yeah, let's get a start today. But before we begin doing that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. They also work to address the disproportionately high rate of and harm of jailing on LGBTQ individuals, which is a tangle of discrimination and poverty. Because we tend to not have as much money, so we can't really fight charges, and they just like keeping us in jail forever. <laughs> and people in the jail don't trace very well either so these folks helped kind of combat all that kind of sort of <laughs> so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in donate towards i have a donation button below my stream it goes to the tiltify page i have a donate command exclamation point donate that goes to the tiltify page my chatbot shares that command every 30 minutes for just ease of use and I have a QR code that will come up on the stream whenever I put the screen up that when you scan it with your mobile device will also take you to the Tiltify page. Any way you want to do that and any way you choose to support that campaign, I greatly appreciate you for doing so. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. I don't think Valheim takes long to load. I usually I don't really I haven't really timed it much. But it's loading. I think. There it is. <laughs> Um, you there? Yolo, Valheim. Wakey, wakey. Um, hello. Um, do I need to like make this, this the thing again? Hmm. Oh, there it goes. It just took a hot minute. All right. Thanks, OBS. Love your work. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So I think the one we were playing on is Mobus the Dork here, and then we have Strim, as you may expect. Crossplay. I didn't know this game had fucking crossplay. That's cool. Not a lot of actually games that are worth the shit have crossplay. I would say this game is one of those that is worth the shit. <laughs> Gray dwarves don't like fire. All right, well, here we are. It's dark. Was it nighttime or is it morning? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I made this like weird kind of like multi-stepped little house. <laughs> uh, how? Okay, yeah, I died in there. Don't 
No, I didn't. You, you saw nothing. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Did I get... I, oh, I obviously, got, I obviously got some metal because I have the forge here. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, okay. I have more than some. Okay. Yeah, we need to get a lot, a good amount of bronze. It would also be good to get some more uh, food in general. And that may include finding a boar and catching it then eventually taming it because yeah I, I i've done some playing of valheim not on stream in the last like few weeks or so and yeah boar taming is a very good way to get a lot of easy food you just gotta you know do it oh, that's a grayling even easier come here Come here. Come here, stinky. Something I should be also need to be doing is marking things on the map. I mean, it seems like a no-brainer after me saying it, but like... Yeah, marking stuff on the map is big business. Right now, I'm just kind of going around cutting up. Now, what we could do is this um, thing here. There's treasure in here somewhere. I don't know where it's going to be, but we can kind of just dig in the ground and find out. Let's try here. Oh, I found skeletal remains. Hmm. Can I just try different spots around here? Also get a little bit of stone out of it too. Oh, we found the chest. Okay, cool. And then there's some treasure. So yeah, if you didn't know, these kind of like outlines of rocks like this indicate that there's stuff here. And that was the first time I've actually decided to ever dig into one of them. I've always ran by them like, oh, there's probably treasure in there. Granted, it's not a lot of treasure, but, I mean, it's definitely more stuff. Okay, there's probably, that's probably a grayling. Come here, stinky. Don't run from me. I'm kind of trying to scope out if I can find some deer or some uh, boars. I guess necks will work, too. I mean, uh, neck meat is, <laughs> neck tail meat <laughs> is definitely a food source you can do. Is that deer over there? It looks like a deer over there. There's just a fish kind of sideways swimming. Uh, need to aim a little higher. Oh, nasty, nasty shot. All right, cool. I'm just still not wearing any pants, probably. <laughs> Perhaps I should build a little bridge. That could be fun. Oh, there's a boar. It may be worth my time. Uh... Oh, there's a deer. That I'm more interested in uh, shooting down. No, that boar is a little scared. <clears throat> oh. oh, 
don't know if it's gonna chase me because I, it didn't get aggroed on me. I scared it, so it probably ran away. All right, let's kill this little bastard. Yeah, I think a, I think a um, a bridge would be a good idea. It's not very deep water, but just a bridge would be just smart. Especially if we find some boar over here and we want to like have him chase us back to where, like near where our base is. Alright, so let's see. We got our hammer. Let's go ahead and get these put down just kind of as close as possible. Alright. Do I have a hoe on my purse? I do. Okay. What? I don't know why I have two hammers, but you know, let's just not, let's not worry about that. Um, let's kind of flatten the ground a little bit to make it, uh, A little easier to build this on. Okay, and then let's go ahead and let's do it this way. And the water's not super deep, so it should be pretty doable to just build this on. And once the color starts going closer to red. Like that, we need to put a uh, pole. We're probably gonna need to use the long one. All we can do is um, put one of these long ones and then get a, a smaller one to snap to it. Oh, the water must have rose just enough for us to not be able to fucking stand in the water anymore. The usefulness of doing that is that, uh, god damn it, building in, building in water in Valheim is usually not very much fun. God damn it. This is the tides will fuck you up. And what we could do to help that is flatten the ground, you know around here so that it's a little a little, a little shallower at least Well, at the very least, this part here is supported, so we can get rid of this garbage that I was messing around with. Oh, we do have pants. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I ever made pants. I wasn't sure if I ever actually went and got this deer that I shot over here. I know I shot one, but I don't remember actually going to pick its stuff up. Nah, come here, Stinky. I'm just gonna fist fight you. That's because I didn't feel like equipping my axe. <laughs> Alright, now I, I guess I did pick up that, but let's see. There's some blueberry, some, not blueberries. Some raspberries here, so... RB for raspberry. When you pick these, it takes like five actual hours of playtime for the berries to respawn, from what I have discovered of like just playing the game and just reading. It's yeah, that's um, that's a, a little bit of time. Alright, let's go over here and let's keep building on this little bridge. All 
Alright, that's the absolute limit that that one's gonna be able to go to. Uh, let's... That is a nice snap point, though. And what we could do is there's some fish just swimming around. Y'all are having a great time. This would get us. We could snap that. I have a tr I have trouble building like like this. I'm just gonna start building some fucking poles. Cause building in the water like this is frustrating because you just lose control of your uh, lose control of your character, which can be a little frustrating. What I was trying to do is to, um, no, wrong, wrong thing. This guy, yeah. <laughs> really, I just kind of fell off. That's annoying. Get up the damn thing. We're gonna just have to employ weird tactics to get this going where I want it to go. Like roughly in line with this, I'm just gonna start putting some poles. And we'll, we'll just kind of fix it. As we go. Well, that, this pole here is not doing anything, so let's break that so we can do another thingy. No, was that not enough wood? Oh, it's because the uh, workbench is too far away. We can build it closer now that we have an actual platform, but let's go get some more wood. This bridge is just gonna make life a little easier for me in the future, cause I can, I've got a feeling, yeah, the elder's over here in this direction anyway, so. We need this bridge eventually anyhow, so. Just doing it now, on stream, watching me suffer, the building in the water, and honestly trying to learn how to cope with it, cause I usually just don't do anything with the water like that. I usually just kind of like say, fuck it, I give up and then don't <laughs> but if I'm on stream doing it I kind of don't have that choice oh not as much RB for raspberry I hear a deer's screeching uh, wherefore art thou deario oh I see you aims a little bit up and to the right of where the creator is, and you can usually get him. Adjusting for arrow drop, though, because. and distance, rather. Alright, how much will we have? 14. That's enough to kind of build more, but let's get. Well, that's something else I've started learning to do is um, use the middle mouse button to do power attacks with the axe, make chopping stuff a little easier. I think it saves durability on your tool as well so especially with these like shitty stone tools you want to do that when possible I would assume at least and I've heard it before but like despite this game not being a very high polygon game this game's pretty it's just aesthetically oh Boars just showed up out of nowhere. Okay, they're all tier ones. However, that's exactly what I was wanting to find is because I wanted to tame some boars. Oh, where's a deer? I hear, I hear it. Oh, I think I see it over there. A little higher. 
Oh, that boar, that boar is also still over there. It's probably gonna aggro on me now that I'm uh, near it. But I want this deer meat. Oh, here it comes. Oh, loud it coming. Nah, I probably want some boar meat as well, cause it's a decent, it's decent food early, and well, it's it's it used in a lot of food recipes going forward. So the more the better for boar. All right, so we need to move our little crafting table further down the river. Could keep that one there, but that's ten more wood that we can build with. So let's uh, let's do so. Okay, and then let's get the same distance there. And now what I'm gonna do is honestly, I don't really care if I keep this here because it is it is supporting the thing even if it's not perfect. I can maybe fix it later, but I don't know if I care. It doesn't matter that much if it's not like perfectly snapped. It. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Fucking fish just jumped on the uh, jumped on the pier and it's like, oh no, I got stuck. Well, that's definitely a way to catch a fish. Let it catch itself. <laughs> Fucking fool. <laughs> uh. I've not really employed this kind of method of, of, uh, of building in water before. I, I, sh I should have. This is really easy. Hello, Digi. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. We are building a, a bridge across this river, and I just had a fish, like, jump out of the river <laughs> onto the thing and just kind of flop around a little bit. So I was like, oh, guess guess we got some fish. But I can't do anything yet. Nice. Yep. The days off are important. Yeah, my days off are uh, Thursday and Friday, typically. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Uh, let's. It's getting a little dark, so we'll we'll continue the bridge in the morning. Oh, splish splash! I'm building this bridge so that if I get any boars over here, I can bring them back over and start taming them and stuff. Was oh, it's a rock. Ooh, there's a boar. I, I was contemplating it, but if I was going to be dragging a boar back across the river, that boar is so unbothered by me missing an arrow. I was just like, oh, now it's bought. It, it just had to take a second to think about it. Fair. I could have tamed both of those that were literally right here. Is this the boar stone? It is. I just hadn't actually came over here yet. Okay, that's fine. I'll just kill these ones because I kind of need the food. I've been playing some Valheim off stream in my own free time, and um, I've learned a lot of things that I should be doing that I have traditionally just not really done. So I'm trying to kind of employ some of that going forward. I don't like want the fucking bones and stream stuff. Like I'm start, I've started at least making an attempt to mark uh, 
Stuff like berry bushes and all that. We currently have a little cottage on the edge of the Black Forest. I spent a good chunk of last stream making. Let's drink some more coffee before it gets too cold. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I did see like three boars just kind of appear right in front of me. Like, literally, like, five minutes ago. So, maybe some animals do it that way. I have no idea. Well, breeding works is you give things food, and if they... If they're already, like... They get happy, and then they have, like, breeding rules. Oh, stop! Well, you can't even... What are you doing? The dude's just, like, spitting poison at, like, the thing. Wait. You, you gonna shoot? I was waiting for you to do that. Oh. Might up if I'm actually equipping an axe. I'm just gonna fucking, f fucking fight club this gray dwarf. They, they shart, yeah, they shart out the baby at some point. But yeah, we got this little cottage here. It's, it's got more than one level, which I'm actually proud of myself for actually being able to merge that into a building idea, because that's a first for me. It's very cozy. We can make it bigger, but like I was just trying to get something built that would actually work and not be completely just a single square. Because I have a bad habit of just going into Minecraft mode, building a square, and putting all my shit in that square, and that's all I do. <laughs> It is a little dark in here, though. Let's see. Let's make a torch. Because this is just fucking dark. Um. Got a little divot right there. There we go. Yeah, we got a nice little thing here. We got this. It's fucking windy. <laughs> It got real fucking windy. I do thankfully I did have the proper sense to uh, make a good chimney. Yeah, it's windy. I can't remember how I built this chimney though. Oh, I mean that's pretty standard. That's pretty standard. Let us put away some more things though. I, I did dig up a treasure earlier. From one of those, like, boats or whatever. Well, I've got some food. For now, I'm going to just store the... Oh, I'm going to keep the boar on me, because we're probably going to kill more. I guess the fish is going to go on there. I should put these bees out somewhere, but... I kind of want to get the area a little more developed before I get too far into, um... Putting on, like, hives, because... They'll just break them, and then they'll be kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh, oh, no, I need to put these somewhere. Great Wolf Eyes can kind of go somewhere else, I guess. In here, sure. Along with stones, I don't know. I usually end up make, getting way too many of these damn Great Wolf Eyes. And, like, I don't want to throw them away, because like, they are used in things, but it's just not, like, that much. <laughs> this can go somewhere else, too, because... It's not a trophy or a treasure. Um, sure, right there. <laughs> yep, exactly. Pretty fucking sicely. Okay, we'll just kind of keep those there. We do have a little bit of scrap wood here that we can use. Oh, well, that's not a problem for me eventually because I like building out of stone. But, yeah, like, that's something else that happens too. Especially if you're doing mining stuff, you tend to get a lot of stone. Oh, I need to fix my shit. And maybe upgrade my shit because... Hmm. How much of this, uh, leather scrap do I have already? Seven... Well, we'll get more, because I'm probably going to be seeing some boars. Yep, 
Yeah, I got a wild hair up my ass. It's like, oh, let's build a bridge here. I almost never build bridges like that. I, I mean, I've built some. Like on my other uh, on my other file, I play off stream. I had to build a bridge to kind of get into the swamp area because it was just kind of not really a good way of getting over there without swimming through the water, which you don't want to do in the swamp for very um, very important reasons. Uh, Yeah, swamp can be a little uh, overbearing, to say the least. Let's, let's just eat a burry. Come here, next. You're next on the menu. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll probably hold on to them to make some mead. Because, yeah, you definitely need a uh, poison mead for the swamp or you will you will die very often oh Jesus maybe my bridge isn't good enough oh well it's not my can really do much about it now not that I'm not like I'm gonna do much about it now cuz like that's uh no oh. well I guess don't go across this bridge whenever it's storming cuz like you'll just now that I now that I need it to be um, like that, it's just not going to. Like now that I need the water to push me on top of the the bridge, it's just like not gonna do it. <laughs> All right, let's build another craft crafty McDo. And now I should be able to build the rest of the bridge on the other shore. It looks like the elder is kind of this way in general anyway, so I would probably want this bridge regardless of whatever's going on. So we're building it. Okay, planks are like this. Okay, fine. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was trying to see if I could like cheat a little bit. Oh yeah, I've not I've not gotten that far, but I've watched people that uh, have, and it it seems like a lot. But oh no, it's only supposed to spawn one. You probably there's like some probably weird ass glitch y'all found. <laughs> okay, let's just inch down here, and we'll. this and then we'll do that and then we can hop over here and we can start building on this again yeah I, c I can imagine it would Well, that would make things a little more difficult. I didn't really know. I, I I know there's like the spawning point thing you can find, like if you go to some like dungeons. But other than that, yeah, it's just kind of like, oh, where's this thing? I don't know. I'll find it eventually, I think. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, we got any of them uh, logs on the ground? Cutting trees takes a while, but I like cut, I like breaking those logs that are just kind of in the ground anyway. This will do. You want to come here and uh, help me multitask, Grayling? Little 
bastard. <laughs> Other little bastard. <laughs> it is, in fact, fucking Wimdy. fly away or I'm just gonna miss like 10 times 11 times there we go just using some wooden arrows right now for hunting so it doesn't really matter that much if I miss that much because it's really yeah bird just like huh what's going on I don't know what you're talking about being shot at? What's that? Ooh, a one-star deer. Give me that loot. Don't bite me, little asshole. Oh, there's some more, some more RB here. Uh, any others in the area, or is it just, like, three? Okay. Something I've also taken to doing is actually marking things on the map where they are. Like raspberries. Because these things take like five hours to respawn. So knowing where they are going to be is probably good. Yeah, that bird's just like, huh? What? Did you say something? I'm too busy not caring. I guess I should probably pick up this flint since it's right, right here. Was there another? Oh, is it boars? Boars! Boars! I think I need the, uh, the, the one, um, leather tanning thingy still. Oh, fine. Both these are gonna just run away, huh? Well, now you're just taking a swim. It's fine. What's what's an arrow among friends? <laughs> was there another boar? I think there was. I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm, I'm sure I'll find more. How much wood do we have now? Nine. That's probably enough to finish our little bridge. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, seven, and we'll just keep on keeping on. Alright, good enough. I'll call that a, a, a an adequate bridge. It gets, it, it crosses the, the, the body of water, and that's all it needs to really do. Also with this bridge, so I can, uh, do, um... What you call it, um, if I have a, if I make a cart, I can get it across the water like this, because otherwise, yeah, good luck. <laughs> I do want these to not be, like, in, like, like this, because I could. <laughs> the fish are a little janky. It's just sitting there floating over the water, just, like. Um, the fish are like, whoa, that's a nice piece of handiwork. I'm like, oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> it's like, wish I had a bridge. <laughs> oh, you can have a bridge, fish, if you just, just hop on it. You know, just, t just take the leap. Take the plunge. Well, that's, I guess it would be kind of a plunge jumping into the air. You're plunging yourself into a different environment. Which I, damn, which I had hands to build a bridge. <laughs> uh, I think this bridge will be fine. If I need to, if I, if I need to, I could probably just make it like one tile wider, one uh, flooring wider to get things across, like the uh, the cart. Which I should be making very, I, I could probably make that now, actually. I have enough uh, leftover copper and tin to make another bronze or two. I could just do that. 
And I probably should because the card is very useful. I I am a cart bolt truther. <laughs> I love it. Let's he carry a bunch of good shit. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, we got some some shrooms here. So we'll mark those as MSH. So what I also like to do is uh, flatten the ground where I find like mushrooms because it makes it easier to see them. They also kind of respect the laws of gravity whenever you flatten things, like they'll just kind of fall. What do we have in here? Oh, there's a boar. It's just a one star. This is a zero star. Apparently I'm a really sneaky little potato. Anything in here? I was kind of hoping that we'd find um, like a beehive, but eh, no matter. Well, what we did find is a bunch of wood. So we can just tear all this down and take all the wood with for ourselves. I, I do need to eat though. Yep, I, I I love this little like life hack thing. It's like look at all this look at all this free wood. Mmm yum yum yum. Like almost like fifty free like almost a stack of wood for just free. Hard to beat that, honestly. And if you really needed to, it's now a little flat area you can build shit on, too. They come back to no house is like, what the fuck? This is the third time this week some random assholes ran by and destroyed my house. <laughs> uh, should've got, should've had insurance. <laughs> As if that would fucking do anything in Viking times. Hey, you can't destroy my house. I had insurance. There's like <laughs> afterlife insurance, yeah. I mean, that's kind of like the the whole thing between, behind a lot of like older cultures afterlives. It's just kind of like an insurance policy of you're not going to get eaten by the great devourer, lol. <laughs> Is there just one raspberry bush here? Hmm. I would expect there to be more than one, but I guess there's just one. Oh, all right. Let's break this. It's kind of in the way. I'll still mark it because it is still a thing. Wee. Well, with our little bridge completed, I guess our next project will be to get some more metal probably make some charcoal too while we're at it cuz yeah we're gonna need a lot of charcoal hello musty thanks for stopping in I appreciate you showing up and playing some Valheim as much as I had fun playing hygienier and doing the, like the soup making simulator like eh, I wanted that it did not spark joy any longer Let's let our stamina get back up a little bit, and we'll just keep chopping. Like it was, it was, the novelty was fun for a while, like just growing plants and like making soup for these weird like people. Yeah, once you run out of stuff to do in Hydrogen, it's just kind of like, well, now what? Uh, and the answer usually is play something else until there's an update. Um, the weather here in Illinois is confusing. Like, last night it was like 19, but I guess today it's going to be like 41. And then tomorrow it's going to go down to like 20 again, and then it's going back up to like 40. And I think that it's going to stay at 40 for at least a little bit. Oh, jeez. Gray dwarves.
I mean, it's stinky. Rain! I like rain. I just, I don't like snow, but I like rain. Like, I can deal with, I can deal with, with a, a nice spot of uh, rain, though. Let's repair all of our garbage. Store stuff that we have. Didn't get that much stuff today, like, critter-wise. Aye. It's all gonna fall tomorrow. It's just gonna all happen at once. As it usually does. Do we have a, a food one? I think it's this one. No, it's not that one. It's this one. Store that stuff away. We did find some carrot seeds, which would be nice. Yeah, you're just you're just walking outside, and then you look up, and it's just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of how it is. Feels like it. Like when I lived in Texas, that's how it felt like the weather kind of was. Like it all just like shard out all at once, and then yeah. <laughs> I might need to make another chest for just like food because yeah um, we could also do is make just another layer up a little floor up here to make it match our other, our other floors because uh, we should might as well do this floor A better way to do this would be to uh, temporarily break this wall, t turn it into one of these walls to get a snap point, and then do that. Torrential rain, I just let you, but just you just like walk in and start to be boom dry. <laughs> yeah, precipitation sure is fun. When it's just like, the side that wants to just happen. All right, so we can break that now, put this wall back in. While I'm out here, I might as well load up the charcoal kiln. Because we're going to need some. And that'll kind of go while we're doing other stuff. Oh, fuck this area in particular, right? Okay, so now we can, now that, that snap point was made and we put that wall down, we can uh, put another wall next to it and have four more chests right on top. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like, whoosh. We're gonna put food up here because I just want my, to be able to reach my food. So anything that looks like food is gonna go in these top two chests. Probably put like raw stuff or like plants in this one. And then the cooked food or whatever can go in here. At some point, we'll probably have a chest for just farming, which is like, you know, seeds and like carrots or whatever. And for now, neck tails will go in there. Every time I say that, my brain just like does the ducktail things like neck tails. Oh, <laughs> fucking brain is cursed. <laughs> we'll move this stuff. And this can be like kind of like the trophies box. I guess this one can be the farming box eventually because I've already kind of got some stuff that would go there. I know I was gonna put treasure there, or I guess money things. There's a rodent in my walls. <laughs> it's me. I'm in your walls. I'm not a rodent, but I'm just in your walls. <laughs> <clears throat>
Okay, we got 24 wood just left over, too, so that's not bad. It's almost enough to do another thing of charcoal in the morning, so let's try to find, like, one wood somewhere. You'll do. Ooh, what do we have over here? Oh, there's there's one wood somewhere. It's Oh, I bet it fucking is. The cat's probably like, where is it? Where are you? Where's Rachel? Get random. Oh, that sounds exciting. Hold this up with some coal and just kind of. I know I have some ore, but I need to kind of look. Okay, we got some some copper. I think we are literally right next to a copper vein. I think that's why I chose this base is because there's like copper like right over yonder. Oh, I think this is where a troll happened. <laughs> or something happened. Cause, yeah. It's a little dark. That's okay, I can't see either. <laughs> I bet this copper deposit's like thick. With like three C's. And it's probably best for us to just kind of mine underneath it to kind of see everything. Copper is like the worst thing to mine in this fucking game. <laughs> like you just have that one neighbor that's like doing like shit like chair aerobics at like 12 a.m. Like, they're, they're, they're working on their fitness, which is great, I guess. But, like, can you, like, do that not at, like, 1 a.m., please? I know I'm not sleeping, though. That doesn't, that doesn't matter. Aye. Sweet. Yeah, it's usually good to try to be a good neighbor, just in general. Was this like a double copper spot? Like there's four of them smushed, to, a few of them smushed together? Uh oh. Need a, a rasp there. Let's get a little bit of copper that's not like oh, game, it's fine. I promise. So what I'm trying to do is like dig underneath the ore deposit and then like undermine it slowly but surely, which will be a lot more effective at getting all of it at once, but we do need some to actually use. For things. Oh, there's there's another part of it. What 
We're just this little scrungly in the forest just smashing at this rock. Uh, I think that's just another rock. That's not copper, it's just another fucking rock. So now we gotta deal with that too. I'm also surprised the trolls didn't come over to try to eat my ass yet. Cause they like to, they like to come pay you a visit if you after a while and then you're just like, oh boy, we gotta deal with this. It's not letting me lower this ground anymore here. Or maybe I was I don't, I don't know. Training this game can be weird. Oh, my pickaxe broke. Let's uh, run up and fix that. Maybe. <laughs> uh, we have some ore. We'll throw it in. No reason not to. I think we have a few other ores as well that we can toss in. We might as well, while we're working on... Oh, we're working it. Okay, we still got this stuff. We can make some more bronze, but I'm not worried about that just yet. I feel like that's about as low as the land's gonna let me lower it here. So we're gonna have to start just kind of digging around and seeing if we can get underneath this ore. And if not, then we're just gonna have to deal with it and start mining it. Yeah, mining the copper in this game is the uh, worst experience. Because it's like always like partially under the ground. Like, without fail. And we'll just mine some of this, I guess. Uh, can we get on top of it, though? If you're, mi if you're mining on top of ore, you get a damage bonus. Or rather, you do full damage. Usually. Granted, with this antler pickaxe, that's not, like, an awful lot anyway. Pickaxe is kind of weak, a little weak sauce. Now we're just gonna have to mine some of this. Like this, because the, uh, the, the terrain won't go any lower. I'll just move this up here.
One bon one bon one other bonus of mining this way is you get a lot of stone to use for like terraforming, and since my like kind of house here is kind of like on a weird hill, we can use that to kind of get more real estate at some point. Like maybe over here we can make like a dedicated storeroom or something to have more room for uh, crafting stations or whatever. Or maybe I could have a nicer nicer bedroom than just like a two by two. You know. Alright, well. Can I help you? <laughs> I suppose I probably should. You need to lighten your load. Shut up. You're not my mom. <laughs> Hugin's like, are you sure? I'm like, no, not really. <laughs> We're getting a lot of junk. And I guess for now, farming stuff's gonna go in here just because it's kind of taking up space in my inventory. Those are tree seeds, that's carrot seeds. You could eat another bite. Okay, that is 10 copper, and I think we have some more kind of smelting up. Do we have, how much more do we have smelting up? We have enough smelting up where it's probably worth our time to go get some more tin as well. Tin is much, much easier to find. Much easier, it's... I mean, it's it's a lot smaller deposits, but those deposits are a lot easier to mine. Little asshole, come here. Let's mark you. THS. Thistle. Those are used for a lot of crafting stuff later. Like, you can make sausages and just potions and all that kind of stuff. It, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to make a bridge across here, too. Eventually. Well, it's not, a, it's not exact, it, they don't make it extremely obvious that stuff will just respawn there. I've only really learned to do this after watching people do videos that are like, kind of like, oh hey, uh, things respawn. It's like, huh, no shit, right? Yeah. Like these little bushes, like these don't really respawn, but like the stuff on the bushes do. <coughs> Excuse me. It's still annoying that there's not, like, a vanilla way to, like, propagate, like, berry bushes. You'd think you'd be, like, you'd think you'd be able to just, like, take a raspberry and plant a bush. That way you can have your own. I know there's, like, mods that do that, and you can just go to creative mode to kind of just place them anyway, but... I like doing stuff, like, legitimately, quote-unquote. What am I doing? Oh, tin. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm just walking around in circles. Oh, here's some tin. I fall and I can't get up. Let's make a little bit of place to stand. Hello, Sirius. Welcome. We are playing Valheim. Hope you're doing well today. Hope I said your name right. Pee pee poo poo. Ah, sometimes. Sometimes it some. Just Siri? Works for me. Oh, blurbs. Well, blurb. I only see one bush. So I guess we'll mark we'll mark this one as a BB. So BB. Thank you for the Oh no, there's two. I'm I am i i am blind. Oh, there's three. I'm extra blind. And this hillside is obnoxious. <laughs> okay, well perhaps we will uh flatten the ground a little bit 
blind. Yeah, for real though. We'll just kind of flatten the ground a little around, bit a, a little bit around here to make it easier to kind of navigate. This hillside is terrible. Like this hillside is the worst. There's a bird. Don't care. We're currently looking for tin. Oh, okay. Hi. Sorry about that. I didn't really didn't ex didn't extremely recognize the username at first because my my brain is pudding. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that connection was um not great. Was too, I think there was just too many people and some one of them was French. The only problem with that being the ping. <laughs> oh, the fucking French. You know. <laughs> Or something. I don't know. A lot of a lot of Birdie's crew are in are in Europe, which is fine. I have a few folks. Uh, I can't remember which one, but I'm almost certain one of them could be us. Oh God, yeah. Got like a billion ping trying to like do anything if you're living in Australia. You you'd be better off in prison, which is funny because that's kind of what Australia was is a fucking prison. Uh, we got some more copper that got done. Let's toss in this tin that we found. And we'll toss in some more coal. I, I, I'm i almost certain one of them was like either either French or just from the, the, the EU. And like they were hosting and it was just like... I think it was a... I thought it was a dedicated, but I, have, I, I don't really know. I just know that um, it was... A struggle trying to fight anything because there was like rubber banding like a motherfucker like every like two seconds it felt like was it just too many people I mean I really want to be surprised if that's the case because there's a lot of fucking people it felt like that that's fair too Well, let's make up. Oh, we can. We need more tin before we can make up a bunch of that. Yep, I'm just playing some uh, solitary single player. I mean, I want to be against playing on stream with with other people, but for now, I'm just playing single player on this little on this little map. Just making a nice little cabin. One of my house, one of my, one of my only houses I've ever built that's not just like a square with other squares attached to it. This is kind of like at least something different. It's a square with a very small rectangle. That's but that's different, right? <laughs> <clears throat> All hee hee ha ha's aside, I do want to kind of make this a little bigger. Excuse you. Where, you. where are you going? Oh, and a person and that person communicates. Uh oh. Yeah, I, that that could uh, I could see that being a problematic. The Grey Dwarves act weird on this hillside area that my house is on in this file. Like, they act really weird. Like, they're just running around everywhere. Scarcely even wanting to fight. I don't understand what the deal is. They're just... Okay. So, just the game's weird and there's probably too many people trying to interact with too many things. Yeah, peer-to-peer is not great. I wish less games did it. Because it almost never works out in anyone's favor. <clears throat> but what can you really do? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. let's flatten some gr some more ground. Let's flatten as much ground as the game will allow us to do around here. But I'm gonna make this house a little, this bedroom area at least a little bigger. I have some wood, so we should be able to at least do something. I'm gonna need more wood though, but we'll at least get 
the idea kind of set down. Perhaps I should actually make this like a little window. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, so you, you. <laughs> okay, there's some more tin. Nice. Cut conflicted on if I should uh, use this tin to make bronze or if I should uh, use it to make a cauldron. I feel like a cauldron would be wise, but. I never said I was wise. <laughs> I never claimed that. <laughs> yeah, that's part one of the reasons why I want to expand the little bedroom is so I can add more comfort stuff. Oh, it's raining. It's raining again. I've been exposed. My tendrils lie bare. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Let's just knock out these walls now. My other cat could care less with the rodent pitter patter through this. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, some, it's it's funny how like cats have like very are just very different sometimes with that kind of stuff. Like one will be like losing its mind over like something on the floor, and another will just be like, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I mean, that's good, good enough for a window, I guess. This doesn't have to be fancy. I don't have any, like, thing to actually put in the window. Although I could add a little bit of flair. Let's... I think we could add one of these. Just gonna make it look nicer. Maybe. Allegedly. Uh, help. Help. All right, and then we'll grab another one of these roofs. Roof up the other side. Bed time. Yeah, we're making we're making the bedroom a little nicer. Oh, bed. Oh, later. <laughs> I wasn't sure <laughs> what you were talking about. Nice. Enjoy your rest. Up. Oh, something's fucking my shit up. Stop. Stop fucking my shit up. Railing, little shit ass. Wee. <clears throat> A little shit ass that could. Server's not up. That's okay. Um, I, I might I might be interested in playing on that something like that whenever I'm not uh, just streaming on my Wednesday stuff. Cause yeah, or I don't know. Maybe at some point I would, but for now I'm I'm content playing this on my own terms, being bad on my own time, only wasting only wasting my time and not someone else's. <laughs> No, no, though, I need to get some more wood so I can finish that little bedroom upgrade. Eat some more deer meat. I should probably go hunting, hunting a little bit more deer. I, should, I almost certainly need to go get some more tin, too. Whee! 
Alright. We're, we're, we're sopping wet. Not ideal. Okay. Let's put wood up here so we can just, Oh, we have like five. That's, that's enough to kind of do something, but not much of something. Alright, cool. And now we're out of wood again. Son of a bitch. I should have, uh... Done literally anything. Okay, we're gonna eat. Okay, who's starting shit now? The gray doors that don't want to actually fight, which is weird. Like, oh, now you want to fight? You might make me look like a fool. Make me look like a liar, huh? <laughs> Game's always like, oh, hey, you're, you're doing something. Let me just make you look like you don't know what you're doing, which. Admittedly, I only have like a vague idea of what I'm doing sometimes in this game, but I'm getting better <clears throat> I've actually progressed up to the point of like the swamp area on my own now Like experiencing it and knowing how to deal with it and that kind of stuff. So I'm getting a little better When did this get knocked down we could um, try to slow but surely like break this against like rocks or something and get some get some fine wood that way hmm If there, was a, if there was a troll nearby, I could probably use them to get it, but, eh. I'm not that desperate for the fine wood. I wouldn't really be able to do much with it yet anyway, because I don't, you want, I wouldn't get enough from one tree like that to do, make the, the bow or anything. <clears throat> Alright, there's some raspberries here, so we're gonna mark them. RB. It would, it would likely be smarter for me to get the cauldron before making too much more bronze so that I can start making stuff like Queen's Jam and all that instead of just eating the instead of just eating the blueberries which are a little harder to come by than the raspberries generally Oh, you're a one star. Hello. You have interest to me. Come on. Come on. We are going to trap you. I got to figure out where I can just build. Sh I, need, I need one of these. Just out here. Because we are going to trap this, this boar and try to tame it. So we're just going to. Oh god damn it, of course you would show up right now. Fucking troll. Guess I'm gonna guess I'm leading this boar away. Until the troll gets bored. <laughs> it's, it's funny though, because I'm being I've got a boar chasing me. It's not bored, but the troll probably is. <laughs> Are you just gonna live over there now? Oh, it's it saw me. It's seen me. It's it's coming. Oh, lot he coming. Uh, just my fucking luck. Guess I'm building this this elsewhere. I'm not I'm not hurting this boar because it has a one star. Which means if I breed it with other boars, those those children can be one stars. So I'll, I'll take, I'll take, uh, is he still coming after me? Are you serious? Go home. 
I probably could kill the, the troll at this point. Like, I think I have enough arrows to do so. God, but I'm also just trying to, like, get this boar. I can probably trap this boar somewhere real quick. Maybe. Can I trap this boar in this hole? You want to you, you want to get in here so bad. <laughs> We're at a stalemate. Oh. Well, one of them got in here. Oh, both of them are, both of them are in here. Let's get out of the hole. Get out of the damn hole. So now they're probably just stuck in here. Funny thing about that though is I can probably just tame them now, honestly. So I think I want to get them out of that hole though. But I'm probably gonna need to kill this fucking troll first. He's going home, but he's not gonna stay home. I can imagine. So we're gonna try to get a sneak shot on him. No, I never said I was very good. Where, where do you even go? Oh, who's he fighting? Skeletons, I would assume. No, he's destroying the workbench I sat down. You fucker. Guess we're dealing with this fucking troll. Well, I did talk about that, um... I did, I did talk about that, uh, what you call it. You want to break this so bad. Thanks for the wood, idiot. Just kind of keep him on fire. That's kind of the only real recourse I have of killing this thing A any in any meaningful time period is just keeping the fire damage on him. Cause this bow is not very good. So perhaps I should drag this troll where it can be more useful. I would, dra I would drag it back to the Black Forest to mine some copper or something, but that's really close to my house and I do not want to have my house just wiped out by this troll taking like one swing. <laughs> Ooh, I think I got crit on him. Um, I mean, there's a tree right here you could hit. I'll let you. If you can get in here. Well, I, think, I think you can. You want to swing so about game. Not, now's not the time to do a weird, like, lag spike. You want to swing so badly. What What do you... <laughs> you want to... You want to break this log so badly. You... 
You want to break these logs so badly. <laughs> oh, well, he sure did. I didn't really move for some reason, but that's fine. Whatever. The troll's still going to be there. I'm really close by. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't move. I just didn't. I think I was distracted being a moron. It's very easy to be distracted doing that. All right, well, that was fun. Let's go get our shit and keep playing with the troll because troll's still here. S still very much here. And now I don't have the food in my butt, my belly. And no stamina. And this troll's here. Thankfully, you have at least some starting stamina to, to work with. Oh, look at all this wood, though. That's nice. Oh, we did get some of the fine wood. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I was just kind of in a bad way. <laughs> Admittedly, I don't really do this very often with trolls. I usually just try to kill them. But, you know... Yeah, this is definitely a thing you can do with trolls. You can technically do this with like any creature in the game, but trolls are by far the best thing because they just do heavy damage to structures and things like that. Admittedly, it'd be better if I had the troll that had the uh, log because they have they do they have a like a, just a much bigger swing. Let's get my items and um, maybe um, not be dead immediately. At least I'm wearing a shirt. Yeah, I kind of do want the um, other log to be destroyed. Oh, well, I didn't want to run over the raspberries, but. Did you, you didn't even destroy the log I wanted you to destroy. I'm, I'm, I'm right here. You're swinging at the air. We're throwing rocks. There it goes. I think he, he pulpified it. Okay, now I feel like... I feel more comfortable killing it now that I've gotten at least one birch tree taken care of. Alright. I could almost certainly get more than one cut down with this way, but... I've already been through enough suffering. Get you on fire. Mm, maybe I could get another birch, because I think that would make it to where I could probably get the fine wood bow early. And there is one like right here too. Actually there's two of them. I might be able to get Like multiples in one go. I can just convince them to swing right, like right here. I think that actually hit the, the troll. <laughs> actually, I just realized that um, this giant oak here would be a lot easier to um, have the troll hit. 
because it's like in the middle of the field as opposed to like, I don't know, not. You want to hit this so badly. That's not what I need you to hit, buddy. So you, looks like you got it. Good job. Now, Mr. Troll, I expect you to die. Ah, eh, you can do a little bit more help. You can just beat the shit out of this tree for me, too. If this little grayling would not be in the way, that'd be great. Oh, bastard. Yep, yeah, we're just playing with the troll now. That would have been really funny if the tree fell down and killed the troll. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I was afraid that the troll was gonna roll the log and smash me. That would be really funny. But, not what I really wanted to happen. We can kill the Grayling with it, though. That's funny. I, I do like that. That's pretty good comedy to me. Alright, so he broke that one. I want him to break this one, too, and then we'll just finish the troll off, because it's pretty close anyway. You're not hitting the right stuff, bud. I need, I, I need you to focus. I'm not the person that should be saying that, considering I have, like, mega ADHD. Focusing is not something I can really do very well, but, you know. Too hard! Not for this troll. Troll arms are a little more, uh... Powerful. Alright, I think that's enough destruction from the troll for now. I could use it to help me mine the copper, but mm, that's a little close to my closer to my base than I would prefer a troll to be. So we'll just finish it off. It's got like one or two more shots left, I think. Yep, there it goes. Ripperoo. All right, let's go up and let's collect all of our spoils. Um, shit, my, my inventory is, my, my weight's a little high, so I, I have to like run somewhere and put stuff away. <laughs> and hopefully that stuff doesn't despawn while I'm coming back, otherwise this would, all would have been a waste of fucking time. I did get 18 fine wood though, so that's good. So you are, we weigh most of the problem. And you weigh some of it. Uh, that's some that can go away. All right, let's go back and try to get more of the wood that is on the ground. Ugh. I've never like extensively did that with a troll before. Like I've always just waited till I had the axe to get fine wood. Oh, I got like 40 fine wood out, out of that troll without even like, <laughs> without even having the axe <laughs> for it. Um, yeah, I could care a little, a little less about the stone. 
I mostly just don't want to miss out on any of the fine wood because that would be a uh, travesty. So you know, it's kind of the whole point of what I was doing is getting easy early fine wood by... I died like once or twice, but that's fine. Pick up the beach seeds, the stones. Okay, I'm going to have to toss this wood for now until my stamina covers back. Recovers. Covers back? What does that even mean? fuck is wrong with my brain uh all right and then we'll walk a little ways i'm also hoping that those that one star boar still is in that area because then i could um sneak over there okay we'll have to drop some wood i might just nah we'll uh i'll ferry it back as I should, Nor the normal way, rather, I guess. Another thing about good thing about that is I got a bunch of uh, wood out of charcoal that I did, just didn't have to actually cut myself. So even better. Mmm, coffee. It might be faster for me just to literally pick it up, throw it, and then like pick it up again. This is like the freaking um, uh, the the I got play this game called Wayward. It's kind of like a weight thing you can do in that game too to avoid like hurting yourself from carrying too much weight. Is you can like say pick up something heavy and then you can like put it down in front of you, move on top of it, pick it up, and then move it again. <laughs> it's really gamey, but if you're playing a game, you might as well do stuff like that. That like you can take advantage of if it makes sense to do so otherwise what do you what are you doing with your life apparently not doing that I guess but we might have enough stamina to just kind of get in here okay we do okay new trophy new hide I might actually make some armor out of that very soon but until then we're gonna just uh, I'm like 99% sure I need the upgraded uh yeah, I need the upgraded station to make the, uh, I need the upgraded station to make the, uh, what you call it, anyway, the, um, I need the upgrade, <laughs> brain, please, I need the upgraded station so that I can make the, the fine wood bow anyway, so, you know, I do need to get this coal out of my inventory. So we're going to fill the smelter up with all of it. I'm going to wait for one charcoal to finish up. Because, yeah. Was that? Oh, we're wearing ra a rag tunic still. Mostly because I wanted to fill up the smelter too, and we were missing like one coal. <laughs> so, yay! Right, let's fix all our shit, cause yeah, that's what that's what you want to do. All right, and then we'll sleep. Oh, fire's out. Well. Let's add fire. Well, let's add a wood to the fire. Give me fuel, give me fire. That, that which I desire. I probably had a nightmare about getting beaten to death by a troll several times over and over and over again. What a weird dream. Uh, had a weird, I had this... Uh, uh, I had this weird dream that I got the shit kicked out of me by a troll over and over again. 
I don't know why I was doing it. I just was. <laughs> All right, well, that wall's done. This house has been upgraded. Well, there's some flooring I got put in, so we'll do that as well. Okay, it is this direction that the floor is in. the bed over a smidge and for the sake of adding a little bit of light I think we're also gonna tear this wall down and add like a uh, one of these like big beams like this and we could also just leave it open like that, and if we do this, then smoke shouldn't get out. Yeah, smoke, it's fine. And we can't run in there and... This makes it easier to fill the fire, too, because these things aren't just, just aren't in the way like otherwise they would be. Alright. So that's what we're going to do for comfort is... Well... I was going to say I was gonna say build a, um, a deer... Um, one of the deer rugs, but... We might be able to do that. I just don't have the deer heights on me. Yeah, there it is. Because that should add a comforter too as well. We'll just kind of... Add that. Okay, that added a comfort. Could also build one, of the, like a little chair, and I think that adds comfort as well. That needs our fine, some more, a little bit of our fine wood though, which... I mean, I'm okay with it. We don't need that. I don't think we need that much fine wood to make. I don't think we need all 41 to make the, uh... Six for this table. Eh, close enough, and then we can just kind of put this a little. Eight comfort, not bad for like just an awful bed and just fine wood stuff. Can't really complain that hard about it. <clears throat> How much do I have left? Uh, we'll just. We'll grab all of this. I need to put a chest out here strictly for like charcoal and stuff. I should probably have it just for, for ore too. Yeah, we'll do that. Let me just kind of stick it like right here next to the door. And this can hold all our charcoal. Nice, okay. Now, what I was gonna do is I found that one star boar and I was gonna try taming it, but then the troll showed up and I that kind of changed things a little bit. So let's see if that boar is still over here. I no idea if it is. There's a boar, it's not the boar th though. But I will kill it. Because the meat is always appreciated and the leather scraps especially because I gotta upgrade the workbench. I got a feeling that boar is not here anymore. No, it's gone. That's a shame. That was a one star. One star boars drop a uh, drop two um, two scrap of the leather scraps and two meat. And tamed ones also do. So if you have it like compare like a one star compared to a zero star, you will get twice as much stuff and 
over the lifetime of your of your farming, you'll just gain that much more stuff. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, nice. I don't think I need the, the million torches, but I probably will end up using them at some point. Well, that's a shame. There's some raspberries here. I'm pretty sure some of the raspberries got destroyed in that, um, in the whole troll situation. Let's try to get all these raspberries on the same kind of, like, level. Eh, close enough. Alright, RB, and we'll just get rid of these death points, because, no, nothing happened. You, you didn't miss anything. We're, we're, we're busy playing with the troll. <laughs> May not be a bad idea for me to um, identify another place where there's like copper ore and then just, if I find another troll, just haul it over there. It seems like it'd be a good idea. Okay, eat that, eat that. Some more raspberries, we'll mark these as well. Because marking them just means it's easier to find them when we actually need them. Which might not be right now, but there are some recipes in later that need raspberries. And if you don't have them, then you're going to wish you knew where they were. <laughs> I know I did. A lot of the stuff I'm doing now is just stuff I learned from playing myself and making, not necessarily mistakes, but just stuff I should have been doing. Like, one thing I should have already been doing is making the, uh, the bronze and getting the cultivator and planting those carrots, because those are going to take a minute to, um, grow and populate. I don't know how that grilling didn't notice I was, like, right next to it and just chopping at it, but it sure didn't. Okay, I made the mistake of uh, bringing the fine wood with me. So we're gonna just... Um... gonna head back home put stuff away and then come back because we we don't need that much stuff on us admittedly but I just seem to kind of bring it on. anyway oh something else we could do for fine woods that little stool there is made of fine wood so we could just break it and get fine wood that way if we needed more but I think we're fine on it for now line you up and yeah, I'm just gonna fill this shelf with chests now and like put some more extra stuff I don't need I'll need two torches and like <laughs> that there raw foods going here and at some point I'm gonna probably want um, something specifically for I guess it'd be our farming box, but also like kind of our cooked food box as well for stuff that is already like cooked. And this can be our not raw meat box. This can be for like vegetables and such. This one can be raw meats because or meat like products like fish. Etc. Etc. You know. You know. Etc. <laughs> Is he? Uh. You know. Etc. <laughs> Is she? Uh. You know. Etc. Etc. <laughs> All right. It's probably not where I want the. All right now, this is kind of like our just 
catch-all box in a, in a way. Okay. Let's go get that wood before it despawns, though I'm gonna not bring all the all all the all the colors of the wind with me. I don't know why I said that. Just popped to the popped in my mind. <laughs> uh yeah, I kinda wish I was able to get that that tree as well with the troll, but we'll survive. Okay. I got that stuff and Stone. There should be like some other stones and is this just like another separate raspberry pile? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Raspberries aren't exactly super rare, but it's still good to mark them because I mean, then you can just run over, snatch them, and go without with very little effort. Oh, look at that! This is another uh, treasure place. With the, uh, with like over there, where I tried trapping one of the boars. Speaking of which, let's see if we can find some. Cause these open clearings like this are the uh, prime locations to find boars. I also find like logs like this pretty easily too for just more wood. I mean, boars definitely spawn in, like, the forest, too, but I just seem to have a better time finding them out here. I hear deer. I should probably go, uh, find the deer. It's probably, like, over here somewhere. Yeah, that, that, that one star bro is the first one star I'd seen in a while. They're pretty rare. And two stars are even rarer. I I, I really should have, like, not messed with that. Um, oh, there's another. Is this, like, one raspberry bush? No, there's more. They're just kind of around the oak tree. But, yeah, I should have just um, ignored the troll. Although, that was also a very good opportunity as well. So, I mean, it's... I, I imagine troll spawning is a little more common than one star boars, but it's fine. Up oh, there's the deer. Pfft, whatever. Go on, get. I didn't want to kill you anyway. Unless you just don't run away fast enough and I can just clobber you to death. I mean, I could probably shoot you if I'm not bad, but I'm, I'm pretty bad. Well, I guess not bad enough. <laughs> All right, I was expecting to miss. That's a grayling over there, and there's a there's two deer. Oh, the deer is like ah, that's an arrow. What? That's an arrow. That's an arrow. Well, all right. Ooh, there's another boar. Come here, stinky. I'm gonna cut you. It might be in my best interest to grab any boar I find initially, and then for taming purposes. Although this is this this might be one that's near the. Uh, like if this is the boar uh, runestone, yeah, these ones are annoying because they'll like try to like come back to this runestone. So I think I'll just try to find other boars because they'll like always try to come back to this runestone to um like even if they're tamed, like they'll just try to come back to the runestone. Which is a little annoying. Because, like, if there's, like, any 
I don't know if from the escape, they'll just kind of try to leave. I mean, they kind of do that anyway, but it's worse. What? Why is that random brick there? I've never seen that with these little little rock thingies. Cairns? I don't know. I don't think they're cairns, but you know, stuff with things. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I'm gonna have to get this uh, recording off of uh, Twitch, because my, my hard drive ran out of space. I gotta start uploading VODs since I finished uh, Arise. I'll probably start uploading... I'll probably start uploading that VOD, those VODs to YouTube, like, today, before I leave. I'll probably start uploading a few of them or something. Oh, some wood. Must have been from the troll altercation. Yeah, it almost certainly was. Unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I knew I was getting pretty close. Ooh, we got some boar. Boar. Let's make an area near our base, like kind of down, maybe downhill from it for a little bit. That's safe from gray dwarves, etc. And we'll start farming some. We'll try to start taming some boars, because as long as we're in the general like vicinity of them, with like six to four meters or so, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Like the the math is weird with this kind of stuff. Yeah, let's make an area that we can, um... Have some boars in. Let's start some more charcoal, though, because we're, we're gonna need charcoal. Okay, and then we can pickaxe a little bit just to kind of flatten it out a little bit more. Yeah, terraforming in this game is a little labor intensive sometimes. It's usually a lot simpler just to kind of build on like, like, to build on stilts. It's a lot less work, but... Yeah, we're gonna try to, um... build up a little, like, boar pin over here, and then we can have them, uh... Not a snap point there, that's weird. Probably because it's like the ground's too high or something. this over this way so I can have it like be linked up in like tiles to my actual house too all right it's dark we're gonna go we're gonna sleep because it's dark and I just don't want to deal with that pretty nice little bedroom honestly I've definitely made a lot worse looking houses than this Oh, uh, we 
got 12 wood left. Let's we'll add a few to the fire just to keep it going for a while because that's good. That's a good idea. And we'll keep working on our boar enclosure that we're going to have. Let's swoop, scoop that up. And we'll put more, 25 more in. And we should still have some wood in the house that we can use other than this. So I'm not super worried about just using a bunch there. But I'm pretty sure I had some wood somewhere else in these chests. And if not, that's not hard to just kind of go out in the forest and cut some more. But I'm going to want at least some. I'm going to just kind of cut this little fur down. Probably hope I actually hit it. There we go. <laughs> Get a little bit more. And then we got fur here as well. There's a, a beach. Beach, please. stump out of here hey better run little stinker and before I start utilizing this like overhead chop uh, middle mouse button move I've had a lot of trouble getting rid of stumps because sometimes they're like too like if especially if the ground is flush like flat yeah I like it um, it can be a little hard to actually hit the stump <laughs> but with the overhead swing that's not really a problem especially if you have an axe that's not just a, p a rock stuck between a s jammed in a stick you know all right let's get back to our Or silly, silly, um, oh, you're the one that was almost dead, yeah, <laughs> just come here, okay, we might be able to start putting more in, in there again, because I want it kind of like over here, but. Yeah, as you can see, the ground's not very level. A lot of time goes into this kind of stuff, admittedly, so... I'm trying to just build this as effective, as quickly as possible, because we're gonna, you know, want to... Not spend the entire stream just digging in the ground like this to make a, a freaking boar pin, but <clears throat> I'm gonna need to build another one of these somewhere. How about right there? Maybe not right there. Maybe right here instead. Because like right around here is where we're gonna want to build this. It's not going to be anything fancy by a long shot, but it just need to be a structure that will keep the Grey Dwarves from killing the boars, because they will attack them. And losing all your tame stuff is annoying, because it takes like 30 minutes to tame a boar. But whenever boars are born, they are automatically tamed. So once you tame your first two, as long as you don't like have them all die off, it's a pretty simple affair to just kind of have them, uh, you know, exist. So. I'll move this now. We'll, I'll put it nearby, but just not, just don't want it to be in the way. Okay, we can get rid of this now because we already got the. We got like the kind of same like grid area of the house built to where the, the boar pin is gonna be, so I just wanted to 
to do it that way for my own purposes. Okay, and then we're gonna do something like Okay, I'm gonna have to level out some of this uh, terrain to even be able to build. All right, let's see what we can do now. Because anyway, my idea was gonna have like this kind of structure like this door. We have to come in here and then we go into another area that the gray doors will very un unlikely be able to throw a thing into to hurt the the, the, the boars, you know. But I gotta, I gotta level some more terrain for this. To be able to actually build anything here. <clears throat> Basically, something like this. Well, if I can get it to snap properly. Okay, so far so good. Um, yeah, we want the boars to be in here, which might be problematic, so... We're probably gonna first try to get them. Well, first we gotta find boars and have them have them chase us back here, cause like they will just chase you. At least for a while. But before we do any of that, we need to make sure that this is covered. Cause you do not want to you do not want to deal with. Doing all that effort to get your boars back here, and then have a gray dwarf throw a rock through like the fucking window, like boom, headshot your fucking boar, and then it's dead, and then you gotta go get tame some more, and that takes like thirty, takes legitimately thirty minutes to tame a boar. Like, n like no kidding. Like, the taming process takes 30 fucking minutes. And it'll take even longer if they get, like, scared or something. So you have to, like, kind of not startle them. So I was kind of wanting it to be, like, a, a, over here, maybe. And I could be, I could go, like, mine or something while they're taming. But if I want that tame to happen before the end of the stream, I'm gonna have to go get some boars very quickly. So I want I want to finish this little boar house, this little barn. Oh look, I ran out of wood. It's fine. Uh, we can probably just kill some of these little trees here to get it. Actually, I need a little bit more wood than that because I want to make a gate. I really need a better fucking axe, but that needs metal, and metal takes time to get that. I'm currently not spending doing that because I'm doing this shit <laughs> I don't need the gate yet actually because what I do want though is to extend this little bit out some more to make it easier to get the boars to chase me So, like, if I could just, like, run inside something like this and then, um, cap it off whenever they get in, that would make life way easier. 
Because then I could kind of scare them further in to the enclosure while they're wild. Like, I can lock this up. Like, I can do something like this. Lock this up and then tame them. When they're tamed, I can kind of push them in here and lock it up so that's a little uh, safer on them. But yeah, we're going to want to do something like this so it's easier to get the boars in here. Or maybe just boar. Maybe I should just get one right, right now. Now we'll build this monstrosity and then let's repair our stuff while I'm here because I just noticed that my hammer is a little low on durability. Okay, cool. Now let's go find some boars. Hopefully there's some not that far away because we do have this big field. I think I just saw that gray dwarf just drop out of the sky. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta drop out of the sky. Oh, here's one. Oh, there's two. All right, well, perfect. Let's uh, get both of them uh, excited. Okay, and they'll kind of scamper away, and then we'll uh, give them time to regroup. And then we're gonna just run for it, because they will just chase us now. Okay, and then we gotta let our stamina recover, so they're gonna try to take a swing. And then they'll scamper around, and... Well, I got at least one of them to kind of do what I wanted it to do. Oh, well, I trapped one of them. Like, it's not going anywhere. It will try to break out. But... I don't know where the other one even went, but... I might just kind of... Have to be okay with that. Boars don't do very much damage, so that one's in there. Where'd the other one go? I don't... don't know. <laughs> it might have ran back this way. Oh, it's right here. I might be able to just kind of scare it. Scare this one into like where I want it to actually be. Perfect. That one's in there. I just gotta get this boar and uh, also scare it. Where was that? Where was it? I know it was pretty close. Frankly, I'm close enough where that one shouldn't despawn as long as I don't like go off on like a fucking quest. Where'd that other boar go? I just literally saw it. Perhaps I should just cut... Oh, it's right here. Alright. Alright, you are now trapped as well. It's just kind of like, huh. Guess I'm here now, huh? They are both in, they are both in there. Now if I could get them to both be in there in the innermost part, that'd be even better. Perfect. 
perfect. That couldn't that couldn't have went any better if I had tried, and I did try. So, I'm gonna get rid of this shit now. Let's make sure everything's nice and fixed up. We can get rid of that now because they're in here. And now we just gotta sneak. And like, wait till they uh, no longer um, are angry. I mean, it'll take a bit. But eventually they will probably calm down. We're just gonna sit here. Perhaps you should sit up here. Because <laughs> they are frightened. Understandably so. Well, I'm around the corner. I think they'll be fine eventually. Hello, birdie. We are attempting to tame some boars. I've done I've done it single player, but I figured I'd do it now here too. Okay, yeah, they're fine now. So let's uh turn very carefully, and then we'll give them some uh we'll give them some raspberries. Oh well, that didn't do very well, did it? Fine, fine. Maybe I should come up with a better idea for feeding them the raspberries. Like maybe I should make like a little ramp. And I can just like climb up there and then feed them. <laughs> this is like way more elaborate than it probably needs to be. Matter of fact, I can probably just throw the food in there now and then just leave them alone and they'll sort themselves out. So. Enjoy. I'm gonna go be not right here. <laughs> I'll just kind of sit here until I... Because once they start taming, I think they'll calm down a little bit more. Yeah. So I think they'll, I think they'll be fine now, I think. So now let's go uh, do something else, like this. I've been trying to work on this. Actually, I need some tin so I can start doing cauldron things. How are you doing today, Birdie? I got distracted by f fucking around with the boars. <laughs> I'm getting stuck on rocks. Finally, yeah, it's, ugh. Last few days, it's been, like, 20 degrees. Like, it was, like, 12 last night when I got off of work. And I'm just like, that's too much. No, stop. <laughs> stop this madness. Oh, we got a bunch of deer meat. I probably need to cook some, actually. Yeah, let's cook some deer meat. Got a nice little pad here. I'm a little bummed because earlier we found I found a um, a one star boar and I tried I put it in a hole to try taming it, but when I found that one star boar, I also found a troll, and uh, I proceeded to use that troll to get me some uh, fine wood instead of deal with the boar. And then when I came back to the boar, it despawned, so I was a little sad. I think I would have preferred to have the one. Yeah, I think I would have preferred to have the one star boar. Because I had a one star boar and a zero star boar in the same hole. And I was like, oh, we're going to have like 
a bunch of one-star boars. But then, it was not meant to be. But I'm sure eventually I'll find another one. Even though that's the first one I've seen in a long time. You know? Haha. <laughs> Yep, Valheim is the Wednesday game now. Let's cook all this deer meat, because I don't think you use raw deer meat for anything anyway, recipe-wise. I think you use cooked ones for, like, the deer stew. So we might as well just cook the deer meat now and just use it until we get better stuff. I think it's nighttime. It's also just fucking rainy. It's fucking windy. <laughs> Alright, sleepy time. I should put up some charcoal to cook, but yeah, I don't have that much wood right now. I've been building with it and putting it in the in the charcoal kiln, so we're a little low. No. <clears throat> We have some charcoal built up, some reserves, but we're gonna have to start using it soon. I need to go mine some tin, actually. We have some, but I need more. I also need to get more of these scraps so that I can uh, make the next uh, crafting workbench thingy. So much goddamn resin. I always have way too much resin. Like, way too damn much. Okay, we'll put that in this box. And we'll put away that and that. And we'll go get some more stuff. And I will. Why do I have these gray dwarf eyes on me? They can go there, sure. Sounds like I need more torch. Yeah, I mean, I only have like three. I, admittedly, I didn't make those. I got those from uh, some of the chests you find in the forest houses. I just kind of kept them. <clears throat> I do, I do want to make me some more uh, wood arrows. I use those for hunting, just because Oh wait, apparently I was using flint, <laughs> flint arrows for that hunting. That's fine. Those are a good thing to have anyway. I don't want to go too far because I want these boars to finish taming before the end of the stream. And you kind of have to be like nearby, kind of. I think. Like within like a certain distance, probably... I don't know what the distance... I, I want to say 64 meters, but... Eh. A lot of stuff like that in this game is just like a, a fucking suggestion, so who even knows. But let's go grab some tin from down the way. Because I need more. I need more, I need more tin right now. I, I live right next to the copper node. That's kind of why I set my base there is just so it'd be easy access. But I need you. Oh, that's not tin. <laughs> that is in fact not tin. Neither is that. It's usually on the shores. I might just be missing it. <clears throat> Oh, here's some. Don't kick it.
<clears throat> oh, here's another one. Okay. I do have this nice little river here to spawn me a bunch of tin. Pretty sweet. Come here, stinky. How much do I have now? 11. I'll keep going along this river till I don't find any more. Because I know it's starting to kind of turn a little into the um, forest again or meadows, but eh, there's a few more. <clears throat> we'll just mine as much of it as I can find. It's either a pickaxe breaks or I just run out of tin to find. Oh, there's some more here too. Or my inventory fills up because that's honestly more likely to happen first. scope out anymore kind of kind of dips into being the meadows but then it kind of turns back to black forest so I'm kind of well, just more over there if I really want to but we'll see we'll see how the spawns are treating me okay there's some more yeah this river is pretty fortuitous to have as well because there's just a lot of tin uh, this might be the last rock we can get before we have to go back to the back to base yeah, it is. That's fine. Let's cut through here. Maybe we can spot some raspberry bushes or something. Oh, speak of the devil. Uh, any others or is it just you two? It's just you two? Fine. I'm trying to be a learning, com a learning bean and actually mark things on the map going forward because... Yeah. I didn't even see the deer. I don't even know where the deer is. <laughs> 1v1 Ike through with fists. Maybe another stream I could do that. I don't know if I'm that good. Oh, hey, there's the deer. Grey Dwarf Fight Club. Maybe maybe I shouldn't bare knuckle box the Grey Dwarves. <laughs> Let's establish Goblin Scover Hachi kind. Yeah, perhaps I shouldn't uh I mean, it's not that I don't want to, it's just I'm a little squishy right now. I don't have good food in my in my stomach, my stomach. So we'll just fight club. I'll just deal with the gray dwarves and get back to base. Cause my inventory is a very full of just ore. Smelter's full, let's toss in some knees and the boars are far enough away where 
they don't see me, so I they'll keep on uh, taming as well. I guess this chest will also be for ore, because I just can't be bothered uh, carrying it around with me anymore. Well, I got a good amount of tin now, so let's uh, get some of this copper that's kind of just over here. It's kind of weird. It's like on top of this rock, and I can't dig anymore in the side of the hill right here for the most part. So we kind of have to just start digging out the copper this way. I gotta say, mining copper is one of my least favorite things to do in this game because it's just so labor intensive for very little, like, gain. <laughs> like, at least with the iron in the swamp, you have to actually go, like, explore and fight droggers or whatever. It's at least kind of interesting, but, like, this is just kind of, like, doing chores. Doesn't that this pickaxe is just bad. Wow, y'all are like not very good at what you're what you do, huh? Oh, that troll might be though. I definitely heard a troll. I don't know where he is, but up oh, there he is. He might be able to help us mine some copper. If I can get up to him and harass him. Yo, troll! You wanna help? Oh, you're one of these trolls, so I'm gonna have to get you to... Are you just kinda stuck now? <laughs> oh, he figured it out. Oh! I need to make me not get stuck behind this gray door. That's going to get very dangerous very soon if I don't just not. Ah! Look at that dummy thick man. He's now, now I think he's stuck. I think this is like two um, veins stuck together. It really feels like it. <laughs> Dude's just in the rock. You wanna... <laughs> God, that's so sketchy doing this on this like weird ass like terrain. Like this is just, he's just in the rock. <laughs> this gray dwarf needs to fucking die though. Come here. I got rocked. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was too worried about the gray dwarf and I just got boop, dropped like the sack of shit I am. <laughs> well, that's what I get for playing with trolls. You know, as they say, don't feed the trolls. How about you not be near my fucking boars I'm trying to tame? Did the troll leave? Huh, I guess the troll got out. Interesting. I didn't think it was able to. Well, alright. Thanks for the help, I guess. <laughs> it's just like, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. Y'all are weird. Wanting me to throw rocks and stuff at you? What's wrong with you? Oh! Uh, I guess we'll grab whatever goodies the troll got for us. And that, that, that's at least helpful. It's less I got a fucking mine. Still got to mine a lot, but there's at least a little less.
In my defense, that, that terrain was a little fucked up to try to run around on, and I'm also just bad. <laughs> so... Uh, 43%. Oh, y'all, you're still hungry, huh? Okay, one of... Oh, wait, you, you, you... How many raspberries? There's still five raspberries. Y'all are fine. I just gotta, like... Make sure everything's nice and fixed up, and then y'all will be fine. Matter of fact, I might just close this up for now. That way they just can't see me. Which will make it easier, I think, to do things. I uh, got some copper. We'll just toss it in there, I guess. Oh, hey, we have we have ten ten. I think that's like enough to make the uh, cauldron. And y'all are just pissed off, huh? Wasn't expecting them to be pissed off for that long. I mean, they don't really do much damage to the wood anyway, so it's probably fine. Just let them take out the frustrations or whatever. Cauldron. Probably don't need this beam anymore. Yeah, I can't even like touch the fire if I wanted to now. I can I can still fill it fill it. Pretty easily, but yeah, I can't like run over it and get on fire. Not, not even I really wanted to. Okay. Board jerk, yeah, I should probably put my bees down. I really should have put them down sooner, but Eh, it's fine. I can just do it now. Kind of just sticking around trying to let the boars tame anyway. Just need a little bit more wood for that. It's a fir tree? It's for sure. I guess the log decided it needed, needed a, bit, a bit of a blood sacrifice <laughs> before it would come off the tree. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a blood sacrifice, I guess. Alright, I really want to do this. Oh! <laughs> I, was one, I almost rolled myself over, but... I want to like run this grayling over like Looney Tunes style but it's 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 being annoying and not wanting to die <laughs> it's 
so I'll just have to suffer in silence and cut down the tree to get wood. Alright, that's enough wood to do whatever whatever it was I was doing. I can't remember, but... Come here. You wanna come here? You wanna come here? The enemies act weird up here. Like this flattened area, that enemies act real weird. Like all the time. Come here, fucker. Gotcha. I need wood for something. I just can't remember what it is now. Did that have something to do with this? Uh, oh! Well, yes, everything. Oh, I remember what it is now. I was going to make the uh, beehives. I'll probably put them, like, right here. I only have, like, two so far because I haven't really found it that many bees yet how are the bees the bees are happy sometimes you just gotta have happy bees all right let's make some bronze because there's a lot of stuff we can make but we don't really have the bronze to do much of it yet I don't currently really need the cart because, well, I have a, a copper vein like at my house, like literally like right here, so I'm not really that worried about the cart just yet. Sleepy! Eight comfort, it's not bad for literally just this. <laughs> Let's put some stuff away. Uh, where was my farming? It was here. Farming and extra food. Okay, put that away. We got like way too much resin. Always, there's just it all. There's always too much of that. <laughs> hey, the bees will do their own thing. The boars are still taming. Much guy hate being sick. Also, Kfio Fiumph, Ilya Vinslavigula Hugum Spielbum Nelvia 1471246136912. Well, I'm sorry you're sick. Jesus. Seven three seven four eight two seven three eight two seven six three eight four eight five nine four five nine five oh nine five nine six nine six eight five nine seven nine six eight seven oh seven oh seven nine six eight six eight seven nine six eight. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Um, yeah, hopefully you feel better soon. <laughs> I'm probably gonna just mine some more copper while we're at it. Because I want these boars to tame, and they only do that if you're close enough. So I kind of need them to... I kind of need to be close to them still. They're in their little house there. Yeah, I have a suspicion this is like two copper veins like on top of each other. It really feels like it. 
maybe more than two. I get up the fucking. You know what? Whatever. We're just gonna mine this bit right here. It'll eventually break. There we go. And there's just the. Ah, you still hit me, fucker. Come here. Where are you gonna go? Is this realistic modded Minecraft? Uh, not quite. This is called Valheim. <laughs> it's a survival game where you're a Viking person. You gotta kill these. Bo you gotta kill a certain amount of bosses and get like metal and stuff like that. It's a. It's a. It's a one of those kind of like survival kind of games. It's fun. It's good fun. It's a good game. But it is not Minecraft. Although, frankly, I've got a feeling if Minecraft never existed, this game might not have either. Because Minecraft was very influential. I'd say maybe not as much these days, but it's definitely still, like, you know, a thing. dig out this copper vein from the side of the fucking hill. Do I have any... I have some copper on me. Just keep digging some more, because... Yeah, mining copper in this game is not much fun, because it's just a little tedious. Because it's like under the ground, partially. And like, if you don't dig out part of it, you're gonna, and you'll just dig the surface bit, then you're just gonna miss out on, on it. And then these assholes like bothering you. Come here. Come here. Up. Oh. <laughs> like. I mean, they're not very threatening, generally. Some of them are a little more dangerous than the others, but those ones are just the standard gray dwarves. They're pretty tame. Whee! Hop up and over. Let's keep digging out this copper vein, because... For better or worse, I'm probably going to need as much of this vein as I can get. Although this looks like it's maybe more than one vein smushed together because there's like more down here too. So we're just, oh, we're just going to, just going to mine what we can. Pickaxe is going to be fixed soon. But that's fine. That's not hard to do. There it goes. I'm glad I'm glad this bot is saying that not me cuz I would not I Why? Oh, this one's a little stronger than the others. It's red. It's a it's a bloody communist. Well, it's dead like it's dead like the rest of them. And the bot said, why? <laughs> oh, that's what you're doing.
You're, you're harassing my bees, huh? We're gonna see if I can sneak up to see how the boar's taming is going, because... It's kind of awkward to get up near the boars uh, that are taming without getting uh, seen. So we're gonna attempt to just kind of sneak up here above them. I want 78 and what's, I don't want to fall in there because then I'd get really messy. One of them was more tame than the others. Well, was one was more tame than the other. It's probably not going to happen this stream, unless the other one is the one that was more tame and it's about to finish, but I can't really tell. <laughs> Some of those words actually look like they'd be like Icelandic or something, which is funny. D. I think it gave up. <laughs> it sounds like it gave up at some point. It's like, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> That's okay. You got plenty of uh, plenty of mileage out of that. What I'm going to have to consider doing is making another room this way. Probably off of here yeah I gotta figure out what I can do with uh, channel points that would be interesting cuz currently I don't have much to really use them for uh, it was this way Perhaps I'll make this, it's easier to move the workstation stuff than it is the crafting stuff. Or maybe I can just make this room bigger. I just know I'm going to need more wood to do any of that. But I'll at least put floor down. That gives me an excuse to cut some more of these trees, I guess. Yeah, the stream's not gonna go for too much longer, but uh, let's say we got some. This, these trees keep giving me a love tap every time I kind of cut one off of the stump. <laughs> Mommy, ha ha! You that he fuck learn to control man, Jesus. Yeah, you got you got to learn how to control that shit. Whatever that shit may be. <laughs> uh, 
All right, let's see if we can add some more of the little poles. Technically. Ah, uh, we'd be fine doing just these. I just want to make this room bigger so that we can... Well, there's... From what I've seen, there's a lot of stuff on Roblox, so I'm... Sure, you'd be able to find something, surely. I know one channel I watch, like, kind of, like, ironically slash unironically plays Roblox stuff. And spends a lot of money on it sometimes just because he's bored. And he plays, there's a lot, just a lot of different stuff on there, which is interesting at the very least. I don't know if I'd ever play it or be interested in playing it, but that's, it's cool that there's a lot on there at least. Yeah, I want to make this uh, room bigger so that I can, um... Yeah, I want to make this room bigger so that we can, um... Have um, our crafting stations and all their junk all together on this wall. I'm pretty sure if I just build these here, it'll be fine. So I'll put some... Use wood on what? Your face. All uh, right, so let's get the floor and we'll break this wall out just so we can see. Oh, that's not where we want that to be. We can still have stuff here, but we're gonna need to uh, not break that wall out. Get a piece of me and my giant 12 inch C at K. See you K. You gotta get that see you K. <laughs> get dunked on, I guess. <laughs> Probably wiser if I change the roof over to a different configuration than what I have currently set up here. Or it's probably better if I just not do this part here. I don't know if I really need to, and it just kind of feels like it'd be a weird addition to the house there. So we'll. Cut that off. They'll save us a little bit of wood too, and then we can uh, put this back here. And I'll let us kind of keep this roof all kind of the same as well. Uh, let's put that, and then we're gonna have to readjust our roof accordingly. Uh, I'll finish building up this uh, roof and stuff real quick, and that's where we're gonna end the stream because it's about eleven. It's lunchtime. Okay, so in that case, let's grab this. Start building this roof up. Sussy, you gotta be the sussiest baka of them all. Let's that, that. That, that, and then we'll put a roof there in the middle, and we'll start just tearing this apart. It's fine. We might actually, we actually use less wood on the roof 
when we do it this way anyway, so. I did like this setup though, this little, how I had the roof there. I did like it, it was kinda cool. Uh, did, did I get all, no, there's some still like up here, but I think my, is my inventory full? Oh, it's cause I have the bronze on me, no shit, right? Might up if I don't have like 120 pounds of bronze on in my inventory. Oh, one of the boars did tame. Nice. We just gotta wait for the other one to tame and then we'll be in business. We can start just breeding them. Like, basically just throw food in there and they'll just shit out more boars. It's the, it's the circle of life. The miracle of life, rather. Okay. Let's start throwing these roofs up real fast. Okay, and then for the... It's kind of awkward getting this roof on here. Somebody's doing something they're not supposed to be doing. This little asshole. Come here. <laughs> Where's my breeding time, Master Tilda? It's probably, I don't know, in there. <laughs> it's in the shed. Have fun. <laughs> I gotta get up here to actually get up on the roof to um, actually build it properly. <sighs> okay, and then we get our roof ridge. When we put one of these in, it'll be easier to build the rest because they'll all have a snapping point that we can reach. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Uh, trust me, it's just just get in, just go in there and have a good time. I mean, there's already some boars in there if that's your thing. Um, yeah, I mostly just want to get this crafting table stuff out of the way soon. That's where we're gonna stop for now. Just kind of fill this in there. Okay, cool. That's where we're gonna stop. We'll deal with this next stop, next Wednesday. <laughs> so, got a lot of progress stuff done. We got some stuff we weren't really meant to get yet because we had a troll that um, we used to break down some trees and we died a few times because I'm a fool. But then, uh, yeah, got some good progress done. And I'm going to put the end thing on. Thank y'all so much for coming by and hanging out. I appreciate the company. Uh, next planned stream is going to be this Saturday. We'll be doing Wayward in the morning. In the afternoon, we'll start some RimWorld. And evening time, we just more Minecraft. So let me see if I can find someone to raid real fast. And then we will be uh, adjourned for the moment. Well, for... I accidentally loaded my stream up somehow. Uh, let's see who we have here. Mm. Mm. VRC. You can hear my cat, he's just yowling to himself. Uh, let's raid into Twitchy Charlie. They're a sweetheart. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna end my stream and then we'll start the raid. See you there. And if I don't see you there, then I'll see you next time. Have a great day.